shouldn't be here right now. I should have an 18-year-old brother named Jose, who would be in his senior year of high school, getting ready to go into college. But this isn't the case because Jose died when he was born. Then, about two years later, my brother Anthony came into the world. Ever since Anthony was born, me and him have been practically inseparable. I can talk to him about anything and everything, and he always comes to me whenever um, his, something's on his mind or he just needs some advice. People constantly tell us that it's abnormal for siblings like us to get along so well because our ages are so far apart and because we are opposite genders. But I honestly think that the way we are with each other, how close we are, is how it should be. When we were little and he had his own room, he would always want to sleep with me because he was afraid of the dark and didn't want to sleep alone, which is understandable because, I mean, what little kid isn't afraid of the dark? But eventually when we moved, we had to share a room because the other vacant room was occupied by my grandma. But we didn't mind at all because we actually preferred it that way considering we were so close to each other and we always liked to be with each other. Despite being my younger brother, he always pushes me to try new things. He's the one that's encouraging me to get out of my shell and to just go out there and be very enthusiastic. Anthony is very smart, he's very kind, he's very hardworking, and very athletic. He's always supportive of me and my accomplishments and never seems to be jealous if I get an award or something. And he's constantly bragging about me to his friends, and I know this because his friends have actually told me this. Yeah. However, he does have a little bit of a temper on him. And this really comes out whenever the subject is me or my mom. He is extremely overprotective. <laughs> but I'd rather him be like that than not care at all. Sometimes, however, he'll come to me late at night and we're having just a little talk and he'll ask the question, what if Jose hadn't died? What if he had survived? Would there be three of us? Or would I have never been born? because the pregnancy from my mom was very dangerous. I think about these two sometimes. What if that happened? Would I not have Anthony with me? But I always tell him the same thing, that everything happens for a reason. And wherever that, whatever that reason may have been, I wouldn't change it for the world, because I'm extremely proud of the young man that my brother's become, and I couldn't have asked for a better brother than him.